Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Jojo and John and G. We're back. Um, I know, I know, I know y'all are waiting for the Coke Studio 15 reactions. I know, trust me. It is torture for me also. But uh, I do not want to go through that experience alone. Obviously, I would want to record with Shruti. And so we are coordinating our uh, recording time and all of that. So um, I am avoiding all spoilers as much as I can with a fervor that I have never done before. <laughs> so everything on my phone is mute. I'm not opening any messages. I'm not opening any like stories. I am not listening to anything audio online and I'm not reading anything also. I have literally stuck, like I've stuck my head in the sand <laughs> till I get to the first song at the BTS. So, um, so it'll happen. It'll happen very soon. So stick around. But in the meantime, I was going to cry when I saw them post this on Instagram. I was like, what? 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 How? After how long are they back? Kavish um, posted it and I think they put the whole song. So as soon as I saw that video, I was like, oh, and then I saw the duration of like five minutes. Oh, no, no, I cannot. I cannot listen to this. I cannot watch this. But I shared it on my story because I was like, what? They're back. You know, you know that Jafar's voice is like food for the soul, right? It is literally a balm for the soul. It is literally soul food. It is, there's no other way to describe it. It's just. I'm so happy. I'm just actually, I'm on the video cut page, but let me go into the, um, Kavish the Contemporary Semi-Classical Band from Pakistan formed in 1998, comprising Jafar Zaidi and Maz Mawadu. The, the band is known for their songs, Pachpan Tere Pyaar Mein Mori Sayyan Nindya Re Paas Re Among Others. Yes. 98. Kavish has gone live two months ago. Uh, Paas Le Ka Studio version released 10 months ago. And there was a whole thing that released two years ago. Wow, it's been a long wait. Let's just, I can't, I cannot wait. We will begin this emotional journey. I'm I'm just assuming it's going to be emotional. It's called Tere Naam. Without further ado, I need to listen to Jafar's voice again. Let's begin. One, two, three, play. क्या नसीब है तू करीब है कैसे धड़के ये दिल बिन तेरे तेरे प्यार का जो खुमार है रोम रोम में है जैसे मेरे सांस है तेरी जी रहा जादू ये यार का प्यास है तेरी पी रहा मैं नशा है ये प्यार का गीत मेरे मेरी शायरी I'm 
सवेरी तेरे हाथ की मेरी जिंदगी हर पल मेरा जो तू नहीं तो कुछ भी नहीं बेरंग है जीवन मेरा अपने दिल का पहरा दिए बैठ गया हूँ मैं तेरे सेवा कोई दस तक न दे बस यही चाहूँ मैं खोया रहूँ मैं प्यार तेरे कोई सताए ना आज मुझे बास तेरे रहने दे तू कहीं ना जा तेरे कदमों में दिल रख के सांस है तेरी जी रहा मैं है जादू ये यार का प्यास है तेरी पी रहा मैं नशा है ये प्यार का Oh God. I don't have the words. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to start. I'm thinking. I don't even want to talk after this. I just want to sit with it. It's such a pure surrender. No? There's so much purity in the surrender of this song and in the emotion that's being expressed. It's just pure surrender. It's so beautiful because you're like, you can't get more vulnerable than this, right? When you're expressing how you feel about someone. And it's that purity and that like, just wholeheartedness. Mm -hmm. It is so difficult. Just like I loved it, obviously. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts of what I want to talk about. And it's very, very difficult to talk after songs like this. Very difficult. Uh I was like 
I can talk about how this is everything you expect from a Kavish song and how amazing they are and how talented they are. We, you know, these are just, these thoughts just sound very obvious. They don't need to be said. What needs to be probably talked about more is the emotion that's been conveyed in the, in the writing and in the song. Um, so I feel like the reason a song like this probably hits and moves you is is not just the honesty of the musicians behind it, which is so evident. Um, it just comes across in the in their in their playing of their instruments. It just comes across in the singing of the song, um, and in the video, it comes across in their in their um, in their faces, in their eyes, in their um, in their entire presentation of it, which is so honest. They're just sitting in a room and they're having chai and writing the song as the thoughts come to them. And then playing them and, you know, sitting at the piano and the guitar. It's just the whole offering is such an honest one and such a surrender wali that you, you immediately, your guards go down as a listener, right? Because we've all been there. All those thoughts that he's saying, everyone has, well, maybe not everyone, but, you know, whoever's really been in that place where you genuinely understand what caring about someone or caring for someone beyond yourself means, then you'll relate because that is, you know, that's kind of um a very core part of love itself. And so people who've actually felt that and who've been in that place in life will understand how much of a surrender it eventually comes down to. So I feel like it'll hit those people very strongly. It'll hit in the feels and it'll really like, you will find your story in the lines of the song somewhere. It may be hidden in like some second, third, fourth line, or it'll be hidden in half a sentence, but it'll be hidden somewhere in what he's put in this song. And it's just so beautifully, poetically said, ki, uh, ji mein, pi mein. it's just the thoughts are so, um, it's just so selfless. Like I have lost sight of the self in this. Now it's, it's all, you know, there's a very like very deep I won't go so far as saying spiritual but there is a very deep um, deep connotation in the lines like uh, I just you know I feel like you're just you know that bit where he started doing the alap I just I couldn't keep it together I just couldn't keep it together if I was not on camera I would have been bawling my eyes out. I would have been like there. Over on the side. Uh, it's just, it's just, sometimes I feel like, why do I listen to songs on camera for the first time? Why? I, why am I torturing myself? Why don't I just put the camera off and just listen to music and stop reacting and stop this reaction channel business? Because I cannot, I feel like, or I just go unleash while the camera is in front of me. I don't know. It's just, anyway, so those thoughts also come to me. But I feel like, um, this is just, it's just, you know, the funny thing is about a song like this from Kavish and the lines that they've written and what it's saying is that, um, while there is a deep expression of longing, an expression of deep longing, um, there is also somewhere hidden in the lines is a, is a space of contentment and peace. Did you feel that as well? Cause I felt it. I was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm putting myself in the song. I love someone. I'm thinking of them. I'm thinking all these thoughts. Um, and I am missing them. Um, but I'm at peace with this feeling. I'm at peace with the fact that I'm feeling this way. So it's weird, right? How that happened. But I don't know if it happened with you, but I was feeling that. And I was like, okay. And they say, right, the emotions come and they'll pass. You can you can step away and just observe that you're feeling something, or you can step o step away and observe how you're reacting to something. So I think that was also happening to me during the song, and I think that that is the effect of, uh, how do I put it? When music, um, when music hits you on deeper than the deep levels, you know, when it's doing that to you, then maybe that experience comes. I don't know how else to put it, but. Usually we're just listening to anything in our surroundings, music included, on a very surface, experiential level. 
and then suddenly something comes along a combination of sounds a melody a song a voice and somewhere it goes like and hits you so deeply that you start then once you felt it then you can transcend and you can actually observe. anyway i don't know what i'm saying but it's all just coming oh there are lyrics here lovely somebody has been the lyrics i'm just i just feel like aap jitna time break मतलब कुछ रिलीज नहीं करना चाहते हैं प्लीज करिए क्योंकि अगर आप ऐसे गाने लेके आएंगे तो हम बस लाइक इट्स जस्ट इट्स वी आर सोल्स आर हैप्पी सो जीरो कंप्लेन्स क्या नसीब है तू करीब है कैसे धड़के ये दिल बिन तेरे तेरे प्यार का जो कुमार है रोम रोम में है जैसे मेरे I love this word कुमार आई थिंक आई सेड दिस बिफोर इट्स वन माई फेवरेट इज वर्ड्स इट कम्स इन दिस वन सॉन्ग कुमारी it comes in this one song which one saying i'm trying to remember it's an ar rahman song from a uh, was it from i think rena to delhi 6 usme ek line mein humari aata hai i'll try and find that line but i just i love this word it just makes me happy it's like the word sukoon i love sukoon and i love humari because the that word itself has you know it it, it doesn't have that negative connotation like nasha but it has this very sweet sort of like i'm floating and i'm in my own like zone and it's it's a beautiful one life for mari is just i just love it <laughs> love okay then go to saas hai teri ji raha hu main hai jadoo ye yaar ka pyaas hai teri pee raha hu main nasha hai ye pyaar ka so sweet geet mere meri shayari naam ho gaye hai sab tere mit si gayi hai meri hasti tu hi tu hai ab har su mein so much surrender so much and all and that interlude oh i to died there only bas bridge dekh ke pyar ne dekh tere pyar ne mujhko mushi se kaise begana kar dala kuch khali kagaz ke tukron ka tune jaise afsana ka uff i'm getting goosebumps even now wo gaane ke time to ho hi rahe the in fact first do line mein ho gaye the uh, now again है मुसा मुसावरी तेरे हाथ की मुसावरी तेरे हाथ की मेरी जिंदगी हर पल मेरा जो तू नहीं तो कुछ भी नहीं बेरंग है जीवन मेरा एंड दैट गिटार सोलो इट्स रिटर्न योर थैंक यू रिमेम्बर द गिटार सोलो दिस इज व्हाई आई वाज सेइंग एंड म्यूजिशियंस लाइक देम अंडरस्टैंड दे अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई दीस सोलोस एंड दीस म्यूजिक इंटरलूड्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट दे हैव बीन अराउंड लॉन्ग इनफ एंड दे आर सो वेल वर्स्ड इन in the art of music that they understand how important these are and how they tug at the heart when they actually come in so i'm not surprised that there was a there was a solo in the song um always always cause me always cause me beautiful beautiful solo wah pe main phir beh beh karne lagti hai i was just feeling it okay bridge apne dil ka pehra diye baith gaya hu main tere seva koi dastak na this 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 is where i completely broke down i was just like how we um protect our hearts right from anyone else coming in that space once we've given one person that space and and it's a it's a big hard relate for me because it's like i i i just can't i just can't once i have feelings for someone then that's it koi aur wahan aaye so pehra diya baith gaya hu main tere seva koi dastak na de i love this like full hard relate happened and i was like i don't have the words bas yahi chahu main khoya rahu main pyar mein tere koi sataye na uff 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 this this is what i mean this is where you're like i don't i'm just happy in the zone um and you know the world may judge you for it the world may say you're so stupid you're so you know, how can you you know it is what it is it is what it is this is how we are wired some of us and we we find joy in just the loving we don't need to have the other person there loving us even their absence is is okay we just we just have you know like do you get what i'm saying anyway i love this bridge yahan pe to bas uh 
वस फाइव आज मुझे पास तेरे रहने दे तू कहीं ना जा तेरे कदमों में दिल रख के हो गया हूं मैं तेरा रंझा सांस है तेरी जी रहा हूं मैं है जादू ये यार का प्यास है तेरी पी रहा हूं मैं नशा है ये प्यार का आई मीन आप कितनी बार दिल जीतेंगे आई जस्ट आई कॉन्ट आई जस्ट कॉन्ट गेट दैन Tavish will bring back the era of great music if they keep doing what they do. And I really, I mean, I have zero like um, desire to put any pressure on them. But if they, um, if we share their music and if we really just like bring them up so much more often in conversation, which I hope to uh, see happen, um, then they will bring about a change in how we. separate the wheat from the chaff you know because there's so much music nowadays out there being released every day 100000 new songs a day uploaded to streaming platforms i just hope they um they continue doing this more like regularly and they um and they help um a higher bar get set i would say for lack of a better word phrase but yes they've been around long enough they cannot it's it's it would be tragic for us to continue saying that they are underrated they're not they're not underrated they are they are there and it's up to us to to uh, bring more and more people to their discography so yeah i feel like i i can just talk on and on but i feel like it it's just going to get you know boring for you guys but i would i would go so far as saying like avish is in a whole other separate category you just cannot like just even even just read the discography i mean the sorry the description of their of their youtube channel right here right it's like a contemporary semi classical band um they are in their own league and bands like them by uh um just i feel like they almost have a responsibility to the landscape of music to continue giving us their art in the purest way possible which they always do but um you know they are they are the hope i have <laughs> basically uh to sum it up they are the hope i have for the for the music landscape of the region to to stay true to stay real to stay authentic to stay um uh, pure and to stay um poetic in the most beautiful ways and to just um show us how in simplicity one can find the best kind of art you know okay i think that's all i'm going to say i don't have any more like thoughts or words right now i'm still like i really just want to sit with the song and feel it deeply emotionally aaj jab main walk pe jaungi to ye hi loop pe bajega and i don't care if i'm walking and crying and walking and crying i don't care <laughs> if they can be this surrenderish in their song i can also be that surrenderish in my walk <laughs> just say so yeah thank you so much uh, for being you every musician on this track um you are you're not creating music uh your work uh, is you know it can't be just confined to music it is experiential art and i love it so thank you so much and um yeah i'm going to share this everywhere and with everyone i know so you all do the same let me know what else i should get to and again coke studio season 15 ke gaane aa rahe hain unka reaction aa raha hai hum bts pe bhi uh, react karenge uh in the same session and uh, i think i'll separate those videos and drop them on separate days but yes we will shruti and i cover those songs together uh we've been uh waiting for them both of us have been waiting for coke studio like all of you for the last two years and <laughs> we will cover them together so that is going to happen very very soon uh, till then don't send me any spoilers talking to you don't send me any spoilers don't don't message me don't tell me what the song is about don't give me the synopsis of it don't tell me anything i don't want to know i saw some of those messages that come and i quickly close them like no i don't want to know what the song is about so be good that way
चलो डीएम मी फॉर रिकमेंडेशन डू सपोर्ट द चैनल टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्स थैंक यू काविश लिव लॉन्ग